This draws about 100,000 people every year to the St. Paul River Center. The Festival of Nations doesn't open to the public until tomorrow, but M.A. Roscoe got inside early today to give us a sneak peek. M.A. You are watching and listening to the sounds of West Africa. This is Hayor Bibi Ma an African music and dance group. That's Maxwell, he's four years old. He's a little bit of a ham, and he is as cute as a button. I am joined by Francis, who is from Ghana, and tell me how your music has been received here in the Twin Cities. Oh, very well. Uh, people here in Minnesota are very supportive of uh, arts, especially, and uh, mu African music become like uh, pep, uh, favorite music and dance for people here in the Twin City. That's why I have uh, different people from uh, all sorts of life, African Americans, whites, Africans, joining this group. You cannot help but move your feet and feel happy when you hear this music. The front part of your name, Hayor, what does that mean? Hayor Bibima means bringing the masses of Mother Africa together. And that's what you've done right here. Thank yes. you. Yes. And yes, it is a small world after all. Okay, not that small. The Earth Balloon, a new feature this year at Festival of Nations, is 22 feet wide in diameter. And yes, you can go inside. It's a little bit echoey. I've never been. It's a journey to the center of the Earth. I'm joined by David Knudsen. And uh, tell us about what you hope people take away by going inside the Earth Balloon. Well, the Earth Balloon is its really a unique way of, of looking at our planet. When, when kids come in here today and when, when uh, people come in later on uh, over the weekend, they're going to be able to see the entire Earth in its entirety for the first time. Uh, when you're outside the Earth Balloon, for instance, looking at Africa right here, that's, that's pretty much all you can see because of the curvature of our planet. But on the inside, it opens everything up. And it really is a spectacular view. You've got a laser pointer, I do, you? Yep. And you know how to Tool use it. Tool of the trade, yes. Yep. So, it, so can it's, you point out Ching Ching County? <laughs> I, I could if I knew where that was. <laughs> <laughs> we are. That's the first thing we do. We orient ourselves. So right now, we are in St. Paul, Minnesota. And one of the questions I'll probably ask people today is, knowing that we're in St. Paul, Minnesota, if we were to go outside and dig a hole and dig entirely through the earth till we popped out on the other side, where do you think we'd end up at? Um, New Guinea. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I'll, <laughs> I'll bet 95% of the people are going to say, we're going to end up in China. But look at this. We start up in St. Paul, Minnesota. We go directly through the core out the other side. And not many people know this, but there is a little island directly opposite latitude and longitude called the island of St. Paul. And that's where we'd end up at. Our sister island yes. on the other side. Well, thank you, David. And be sure to come down and check out the inside of the earth. It's, if for no other reason, it sounds really cool in here. Back to you guys.